Morning, Mark. Morning, Michael. 14th of June, and we wake up today with our normal and regular Americano with oat milk and my superb latte with my favourite oat milk. And we find today that the Oat League, the Swedish oat milk maker, is suing pure OT. So we have Oatly and pure OT. So the very famous carton of the um, of the oat drink, which I have all the time, they are bringing litigation and they've issued a claim in the High Court. I'm going to stick my neck out and say that I think that the concept between the two aren't very similar. It's a carton and it's a drink, and I don't think they'll be successful. Right, hang on a second, but surely the print, the basic principles of trademark infringement would be that there is a likelihood of confusion to the public. That's a good point. And also the fact that you don't have to prove confusion, it's a likelihood of confusion. And passing off. So you always issue a claim on the strength of your trademark, but you also fall back on the passing off element. But generally speaking, the likelihood of confusion argument will be difficult here based on the generic nature of the um, of the old term, and also the fact that there is no monopoly in an idea. And to my mind, passing off is their only really strong claim. But again, I do worry that... Okay, okay but equally, I mean, it, M Michael's just showing me now the picture of them both side by side. and Which you can see in uh, one of our articles which have been posted today uh, from one of the trainees that have just done a quick one on this. And you can see the two images on the website. Um, and, and clearly the dominant aspect of the two images is the word oat. So going on to what you just said there, Michael, how can you try and protect the word oat and then say that that's a protected character there? So then we have to look further beyond. What, what about the image then? What is it that they could say there's a likelihood of confusion No, there? it's a carton with a cup. Um, the smaller outfit, pure oaty, has a flower circling the cup. Um, to me, there isn't any connection between the two, uh, but that will be left to a lord to decide. Mm. I suspect as well that a settlement may well be reached, but they've got some £15 billion um, turnover, the Swedish lot. Wow. So they're huge. What do you think this is going to end up being one of those bully the little guy type stuff? Be, yeah, it could well be. Um, but I, I do fear that the big Swedes have, um, have got a bit of a job on that. Anyway, have a good day and uh, catch up with you later. Thanks. Bye.